From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gare McKenzie. This local and regional news update is brought to you by Northway Bank. Want a Northway Bank teller to keep in your pocket? There's an app for that. Now available for iPhone and Android. Download yours today. Northway Bank with 17 locations throughout New Hampshire. The people you know, the bank you trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. The chief of the Tamworth Fire Department is giving credit to officers of the Tamworth Police Department for their assistance yesterday morning in helping control a quickly spreading brush fire. Richard Colcord says his firefighters and a police officer responded to 98 Thibodeau Lane in Candle Pine Village shortly after 1020 and found a pretty good sized brush fire going. The chief says the fire didn't burn deep because the ground was cold, but it quickly spread to about a half acre because of gusty winds and dead vegetation on the ground providing fuel for it. With one police officer on a hose, the fire was quickly knocked down and reported to be under control just after 1045. Another police officer also arrived to help. Colcord says the burned area was mostly on a vacant lot. Firefighters remained at the scene for about an hour and a half to clean up. West Ossipee firefighters were called to assist but were called off before they arrived. No one was hurt. Colcord says the fire was human-caused, but there's not enough evidence to show how it was caused, and it's not known if it was intentional or accidental. The chief says it's the second time lately a police officer has been, quote, on the nozzle. He attributes that team spirit in Tamworth to all agencies working together as, quote, one team, one fight. Hearings continue for New Hampshire agencies today. Spending requests... For the next two-year state budget, the Department of Justice will make its presentation today. The agency is getting about $16 million of the state tax-funded part of the budget and is asking for a 17% increase to almost $19 million. Other agencies making presentations are the Treasury Department, Secretary of State, Department of Cultural Resources, Department of Information Technology, Office of Energy and Planning, New Hampshire Retirement System, and a number of state boards. Today marks the final day of hearings on the budget requests. Governor-elect Maggie Hassan will use the information to help write a budget to recommend to lawmakers in mid-February. In Maine news, Democratic lawmakers say they are incredibly concerned about a $100 million shortfall in the state's Medicaid program, also known as Maine Care. State Health and Human Services Commissioner Mary Mayhew briefed the legislature's Appropriations Committee yesterday on the shortfall, which affects the present fiscal year. Mayhew says the cost overrun is due to increased use of the program and not enrollment growth. Representative Peggy Rotundo of Lewiston, the lead House Democrat on the Appropriations Committee, says her party is, quote, incredibly concerned and looks forward to seeing an in-depth analysis from Governor Paul LePage's administration. The news comes as the state also faces a $35 million revenue shortfall for the current budget. The governor could order spending curtailments to address that shortfall. In sports, Hartford down Yale 60-51 in a non-conference matchup last night. UConn was able to hold off New Hampshire 61-53 last night in a game that was closed most of the evening. And Celtics guard Rajon Rondo has been suspended two games by the NBA for starting a fight with the Nets' Chris Humphreys. In the weather today, mostly sunny, highs of the lower 20s. Northwest winds around 10 miles per hour. This morning becoming light, partly cloudy tonight, lows around 5 above with light winds and cloudy on Saturday, highs in the upper 20s. From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie.